this time on Fishing and Adventure. Hey team, it's Scott and Mig here from Fishing and Adventure. Now you're about to watch a full episode that was made for TV right here in New Zealand and we're stoked to be able to bring it to you here on YouTube. We've got heaps of content on our channel, side missions, vlogs, how-tos, so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit it. and join the adventure. Yoo-hoo! This week, we're continuing on with our epic deep south adventure in Stewart Island. We missioned our Uton boat down to Invercargill via main freight and launched a Surtees at Plough before crossing the Fovo Strait into stunning Stewart Island. The huge challenge is set for us too. Land a 10-pound trumpeter, gather bluff voices in big power, land blue cod on three different methods, spot a kiwi in the wild, and shoot a white-tailed deer. We decided to kick things off with blue cod, and the very first spot we stopped at was riddled with them. We easily ticked off the three different methods, which was lures, lollies, and the homemade rig. Oh, yeah, he's a donkey. <laughs> That's a How good bad. boy. We then had a dynamite session catching trumpet on a whole variety of methods, and although hard fighting and a lot of fun, we didn't manage to find that 10 pound challenge size. We then made the call to have a crack at the shellfish and got on the drink for a cool little free dive for our challenge power, and also picked up a few nice blue mochi and cod with a spear gun, along with some big kinner. That rounded out the fishing on day one, and once back on the island, we headed out to try and tick off the kiwi sighting. Been raining, so hopefully some bugs in the ground will come out and sniff around, hopefully we'll have a spot one. This around this dust time can be perfect. Unfortunately, no kiwi to be seen, but we had a great little look around before we unexpectedly spotted one of our challenge species, a white-tailed deer, which was just hanging out on the side of the road. This particular animal would live to see another day, but it gave us hope that we would be able to spot one once we had the rifles in hand. Day two dawned and brought with it the anticipation and excitement of another adventure in a new location. Thankfully, our accommodation had a couple of kayaks, which made mooring and retrieving our boat a relatively simple task. Half an hour south of Oban is a spot called Port Adventure. We booked the hunting block and hut with Doc for two days, and it was here we were hoping to tick off the rest of our challenge list, which was now starting to look fairly ominous. Stewart Island Radio, Stewart Island Radio, this is a holy ship. Welcome to Stewart Island Marine Radio. Hey, what are you doing today? Good morning. Uh, yeah, we are heading down to Port Adventure for the day and also spend the evening down that way. I did the weather's at 5.25, but any time up until 8 o'clock will be fine. Yep, good as gold, we'll catch up with you then. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna try and tick off the other one of our shellfish. It's gonna come in the way of the uh, oyster, the bluff oyster, or the dredge oyster it's called. We've always got a free dive for them, so uh, put on here, 10 metres of water, sandy bottom, but apparently that's where they live. Smoke's already over there. Getting ready to dive down and might have to have a little bit of a look around because I'm sure they're not going to be that abundant, but if we get onto them, she'll be all going. That'll be a challenge tick for the shellfish. So, all right, let's get in the drink. Well, I'm going to get in the drink and join the lads. <coughs> Bluff or dredge oysters are a prized delicacy and as a result are a prime target for commercial and recreational fish shows. The most common way of gathering these tasty mollusks is by dredging, but in our opinion, this is a fairly destructive method which has severe impacts on the seabed and habitat. There aren't many places in the world that this type of oyster even exists, so being able to gather them on the snorkel is very rewarding, and once again, it highlights the need for sustainability versus overfishing. They were a bit difficult to spot at first, but once you get an eye for them, they were easy pickings. Not the biggest oysters in the world, but plenty were of legal size, and it was an awesome little gathering session. Yeah, Jared. <laughs> Got you some fluffies, mate. Woo! <laughs> 
And there you have it. Some bluff voice, isn't it? Not bad. Not oh, bad. Not bad. That was better than expected, actually. Yeah, they went really well. Must admit, I'm not the biggest fan of these things, but some people absolutely love them. This guy included. Am I right, J-Rock? Oh, mate, behind the yeah. camera there, yeah. eh? Hey? He's going to be into some of these. He's frothing at the bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's it. That's the challenge in the shellfish ticked off. Yeah, nice. Sweet, nice. Sack. Mean. Sweet little dive. Absolutely. Oh, let's get into these and uh, get into the next mission. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's now time to check out our digs for the night and hopefully spot our kiwi and have a crack at the notoriously elusive white-tailed deer. We've been to a few special places over the years, but this particular spot was truly breathtaking. And to think we had this whole block to ourselves for the next two days was a pretty humbling experience. You know it's a special place when you're greeted slash attacked by an octopus, which would have to be one of the coolest creatures in the world, let alone in the ocean. Perhaps he was just showing off to the octopus on the side of the Surtees. We left Mr Octopus to do his thing and got ourselves acquainted with the hut and the spectacular beach. Alrighty. Hutton time, Miggy. Yep, sounds pretty good. We've got some uh, fresh prints on the beach there. So, uh, white tail. Yep, and the uh, sun's going down, so it's a pretty good time to shoot out into the bush and have a bit of a recce of the area. Yep. And uh, see what we can find. Yeah, we're going to split up. So, Jared and Mig are going that way. Yep. Me and Ben, that way. Sounds good, mate. Right, mate. Good right. luck. Bugger off. Yeah, see you soon. Look forward to hearing that shot, mate. Sounds good. The white tailed deer are known as the grey ghosts and often hunters will spend weeks at a time hunting these animals with no result. They are sometimes spotted on beaches in the evening as they come down to eat the seaweed, so this is always a good place to look. Unfortunately, nothing spotted before darkness took over, so it was back to the hut to make a plan for the next day and get stuck into some of the best kaimoana on this earth. Which well, is not a bad spot, so we had a night in the hut last night. No deer, unfortunately, but uh, Mig and Ben have shot over the hill, so we're going to hang here for a bit. They've shot over there. We only had two rifles, so they've gone over to have a look for the deer individually, which is probably the best way to try and stalk deer. But yeah, white tail's what we're looking for. None so far, but we did see some tracks up here on the beach, so they are around. The other thing we saw was, not on this beach, the other beach, some kiwi tracks, and that's pretty cool. So kiwi come out onto the sand at night, and they uh, eat all the sand hoppers. Hoping we can see at least one of those, and Really hoping the boys can shoot a deer, so we're going to hang here for another hour or so, back up at the hut, which is not a bad spot, I must admit. Pretty cool. And the boat's just out here. It's got a stern line running back to a mooring and straight up onto the beach there, so not many pla other places I'd rather be right now than pretty much right here, just chilling out with Uncle Jeff. <laughs> yeah, Jeff. I've seen my first wild kiwi also. They're all around us because they're squawking all the way, all 360 degrees. It's a pretty awesome experience. Loving it. Oh, well, onto the hunting spot. <sighs> Noisy as. So after ticking off the kiwi spotting, Meg and Ben moved on to try a somewhat different technique for spotting and shooting the deer. All right, we've uh, just got to a nice clearing. So hopefully we can spot some animals moving through here. These white-tailed deer, which is what we have on Stewart Island here, very, very hard to hunt. You have to pretty much sit and wait, and hopefully one moves through, but there's good numbers of animals, so hopefully the chances are pretty good. Awesome. What a beautiful animal. Absolutely wicked. 
And that's my first deer. Absolutely stoked. And especially to be a whitetail, really hard to hunt. And um, some guys really struggle to hunt these animals. They're really tough deer to get, so. Known as the grey ghost, because they're, yeah, almost impossible to get sometimes. But, um, yeah, super stoked with that. We're going to use all of this animal. We're going to carry the whole thing out, because you can't get much better than that. This meat's going to be absolutely beautiful. And uh, that's a big tick off the challenge list, and a massive one too. We, yeah, we're really hoping we'd get one, but we didn't allow a lot of time for it, so. But yeah, on to the next challenge species. Man. The morning of the big reveal. I'm a little bit nervous, gotta admit it. The boys have been out for a few hours and uh, I didn't hear any shots. I'm not saying they haven't got anything, but yeah. Here they are, they're on the beach. Okay, here we go, here's the bit. Ooh. What do we got, boys? Come on. Looking a bit somber. What's he doing there, Miggy? What's he got? What's he got? Yeah, Miggy! <laughs> yeah, boys! Yes! That's the one! Yes! Yes! <laughs> we got it! They got it! So Port Adventure well and truly delivered, and we've got our oysters, spotted the kiwi, and nailed the white-tailed deer. A big win, and all of a sudden the challenge list is looking likely, as we now only have a 10-pound trumpeter left. So it was up early again the next day, and back down to the wharf to load up Holy Ship, and take in some more of the stunning scenery, and experience our last little bit of the laid-back nature of what is a truly epic location. We then made our way out to slightly deeper water to hopefully find that bigger trumpy and get stuck into a quality southern brekkie. Follow me. Oh, oh yeah. How good. Mate, fresh bro. Catch okay, them fresh. What do you got mm. on there, mate? No scarpy? Mm. Probably a scarpy. That's all right. At least we've got some good lunch. My Ooh, goodness, Marlboro is good. No, she's a big old bluey and a scarpy, but. Oh, hey. She's a biggie. Whoa! She's a monster. That's a blue oh, Get hey. out of it! Get hey. out of it! Oh, she's always a bloody bit of a battle there. <laughs> Oh, Holy hell. Whoa! Really? Hey, man, that hey, is huge! Bonker! <laughs> I don't know what I'm more excited about the uh, beautiful fresh cock power or that beast of a blue cod. I know, mate. Because that power is pretty damn good. Although we've got our challenge blue cod ticked off, that's still a pretty welcome sight. Nice big blue cod. Back in the drink. That's an absolute beast. Yeah, back in the drink. Go, buddy. Go, on, mate. Go, mate. Here we go. Man, the box, guys. Oh, let him on. <laughs> yeah, blue car. Oh, yeah, Mickey, we've got another big bluey. Oh, another big bluey. Oh, look at that. Oh, Get out of it, What are those things called? Albuquerque's? Ew! Solid fish. This is a good monster. cod spot we've got here. I mean, is it let's ever? be honest, we've always, found a we've always found the cod, but... This is the big, big this is the cod, big cod spot. spot. We can't catch 10-pound trumps, we'll happily take these guys. Pretty much Lewis hooks out, so I'll fire him straight back in the drink. He can power off down to the bottom, I reckon. Come on, mate, you've got to swim fast, because you've got these albatross after you. Go, buddy. Come on, mate. Go yeah, on, mate. he's off. There he goes. Easy right. peasy. Yep. Blue cod. The big blue cod spot. So with the deeper water only yielding big blue cod and scarpies, we made the call to head back to our proven trumpeter spot from day one. Although there were no big fish caught on that day, we knew the trumpeter were there, so it was a mad dash over to the Edward Islands with the hope of pulling out our last minute challenge fish. Here's the softie I'm using there. It's actually quite large, but I'm targeting a nice large um, trumpeter. Yep. But if you're going out just to score a feed, a nice small soft bait will work. But the trick is to keep them moving, really keep that, that lure going up and down, up and down, and moving around, and that's when they're hitting. They're definitely a predatory fish, and when another fish comes and hits it, they come in and hit it as well, and if that's, as long as that's moving, it'll be working a treat. Get out of the way, you bugger. He just smashed it and took off with it. Well, he's big, long, is it bull kelp? I think is what it is, Ben? No. Nah. No, nah, I don't know what it is, some sort of long, anyway, it's long, long kelp. And it runs pretty much like 10 metres of it. And it's 
comes up to the surface. But we're in, we're in what are we in? Like Eleven meters of water, and this kelp's right here. Oh, kelp. Yeah, he's around the kelp a little bit, but he's still on there though. It's a solid fish. I would offer to jump in the water, but uh, oh come on, mate. It's not necessarily the <laughs> most. Oh uh, come on, mate. He's around safe. the weeds, but it's a biggie. No one's offering to jump in the water and get him, even though he's right there, because she's great white territory. <laughs> Well, most of Stewart Island is, to be fair, but this part area in particular is where they see a lot of them. Oh, imagine if this was him, though. Oh, no, he ain't swimming out. We'll have to go tight on him and just try and pull him out. Probably gonna break. Oh, oh. lost him. Bugger. Damn, man. Ah. Well, oh. we do know they're around, mate. No, they're around, matey. I mean, it might have only been eight pounds, but still, it was a lot bigger than what we've seen so far. So I will keep on persevering, but I don't know what we're going to do about it if we do hook one. And that freaking kelp. Kelp is everywhere, isn't it? Should we count to five? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. <laughs> Bang, straight away. A few uh, big seals lying and chilling on the beach, so. There he is. There's another nice one. Yeah, he's wally. Ah! All right, mate. Okay, buddy. Gonna spin him around there, get a firmish grip on him. This is probably about four pound. But obviously that's on the smaller end of the spectrum when you get a big boy. See you, buddy. If you hook him there at the bottom, you wouldn't some of these wouldn't be able to stop that well. That's a good one you got there, Mick. Oh, he's not a bad size. Yeah, so is this one here. Oh, it's a stonker. Yeah, look at them, they're cool fish. Very stoked to be able to caught our first, my first and 50th trumpeter in the same trip. <laughs> Not bad. Do I need to get the net for this guy? Should I just lift him in? Oh, he's a fatty too. He is a poor whacker. Man. Oh, he's, a, oh, he's gotta be a six pounder, right? He's gotta be up there. Oh. Oh. Not a bad one, Mick. <laughs> he might be worth checking over the scales just for interest's sake. It will be interesting to see how <laughs> these. Stop yeah, that's a man. goodie. See, that's like, not even average size, that's quite like, like a nice trumpeter there. Yeah. Man, but then yours, that's a beast. He's a bit of a beast, isn't he? He's getting up around that, that size. He's still not our 10 pound trumps, but look at that. <laughs> Been some pretty cool spots. We're fortunate enough to have gone around a good part of New Zealand. Last year was Doubtful Sound Fjordland. That was right at the top of the list, and this is up there with it. Oh, well, I don't know about it. As far as Mick's concerned, he may have surpassed it with his deer that he got. Oh, mate, it's pretty special. Yep. Pretty special. What do you reckon? Is it getting towards the end of our stint here on no, the Stuart? Yeah, unfortunately, they, these fish aren't getting much bigger. No. Still beautiful eaters. Man, yeah. if we wanted to just take our limit, we would have done so easily. Back in the drink. It's a done and dusted Stuart done Island. Done and dusted, mate. What a mission. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. One of those is definitely called for. Hell yeah. But alas, we never got our full contingent of our challenge, so that means we do have to go back for the consequence, but who cares? Yeah, the consequence. You know, who cares? That's all right, it's all part of it. We'll a take trip. a consequence for this trip. Yeah. You. Here we are again, Mick. Mate. Another this one of these. Shocker. Oh. Uh, Mother Bear, I do not put like your apron their away. Green eggs We're going and to our picnic today. Ah, uh, I got it. Would you take ah. them here on the. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh. No. Oh. I can't oh. see it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It'll really help us grow this channel and bring you guys way more content. And if you want to score some of our epic FANZ merch, then click the link in the description below, grab yourself a tea and a hat, and uh, we'll catch you on the next adventure.